whole lot of nada in the neck area. Hmm. Tons of Gokus and the Warhammer. And yeah, I'm not saying nothing I need. Well, let's go up in the main area. And I already checked movies. There was nothing today. We haven't had nothing new in a while. Well, let's see. Yeah. New multi wave. No Batman or Wonder Woman. But we will take these though. Because it's metal. Gotta, gotta pick up the metal stuff. And two of the four. I got Dino. They got a restock. Yeah, we got RC back there. Same old bumblebees. And let's see. Rangers. Blue Dino. Come on, Black Dino. Give me a Tommy. And the Legends. Just Mega Sentinel and Savior. That's it. All right. Let's head to the other side and see. If they got any Star Wars or anything else, up to see. Okay, he man. My son's birthday is coming up, so he actually doesn't know it, but he's gonna get a bunch of these for his birthday. And wrestlers, China. Billy Graham down there. As long as I'm actually playing with a WWE 2K 19, so I'm actually learning all these new people in the game. Couldn't tell you anything else about them, but I know they're in the game. This is kind of cool. I don't do Hot Wheels, but it's cool to see that. Cannot wait till. That Super 7 one comes out though. Alright folks. I think that's going to be it. Unless I see something else. I'll see you at the next place. Alright. Alright. At Wally World. And. Let's see. We got some turtles. And She-Ra. T-Man saw a. Uh, what was it? A Spam one. If I saw a spam on, I probably would get it. Cause it's spam. Let's see. Universe. Yep. Got it. Ultimate Guardian Predator. That looks pretty good. And a rhino alien. Of course. No turtles or shredder stuff. Oh yeah. So they're good on the predator. Let's see. I got a box that's toys. Let's see here. Mm. It is oh those VST things. Is there anything good on sale? Host. Everybody needs to watch that if you're a horror fan. Mm. 
Yeah, not much else. But it's like a mess. I mean, you see all this stuff. There ain't no way I'm gonna be able to look at movies down there today. All right, well, let's head to the other side and see what they got. All right. Just got the little mega constructs. Of course, man, and Skeletor. Nothing else. Some retro Ghostbusters. Yeah. Hey, they actually have Transformers here, but I think you're supposed to be down yonder. Okay, they got Green Lantern and Joker. Huh. One Lonely Omega Sentinel. I see a battle cat. So I don't have to worry about battle cat. And hey, they got the new wave. And we got Optimus. Another Optimus back there. And let's see. kind of cool something different you know to see but yeah and then we got more and more of those but that's gonna be good nothing at Wally World today but that's all right see you on the next one later hello my people it's your redneck and Kelly Nate um we went on a small hunt and let's show you what we get before we do that though we gotta have this that's early in the morning <sighs> gotta have that coffee wasn't a whole lot um but we did find world's smallest tila so now i just need skeletor and he-man uh, my boy Toy Robot got me Battle Cat, so I'll pick it up from him later. Um, they had the new Death Metal Wave. Um, didn't have all of them. I was hoping they would have had them all. But we got Robin King and, of course, Death Metal Superman. So, pick those up. This is going to build the Dark Father. So, excited for these. I love the death metal and I love metal. That's some of my favorite series of all times. Um, so definitely got to get that. They need to have an omnibus for it. We were actually having a discussion about that. With the other guys, um, people were asking like which omnibuses um, I I collect or which ones do I recommend. There's a lot. Um, we need one for that belt specifically. Now, we did get some stuff in the mail though. Let's see. From Amazon. Yeah, but I've been waiting on this one. The Mortuary Collection. This is from Shudder. Um, definitely, definitely. I watched part of the episodes. It is one of the best, best anthology series that you're going to get right now. This and Creep Show. So if you're not watching this Creep Show, stop. Go watch a little bit of the Creep Show and then go watch this. I mean, this isn't that long. I mean, this is only 111 minutes, not even two hours long. So, definitely go watch this. And let's see. From Lone Star Comics. Oh, otherwise known as My Comic Shop. Um, I had to get a couple of things to finish up something um it was a run i'm working on 
And that's the thing is comic collectors, you get on these runs that you're trying to finish up. Um, because you want to finish it so you can either A, read it, or, ha or B, have a whole collection for that. And let's see. What did they send us? Man, that's a good packing paper. That's one of my box of packing stuff for the store. Okay, first up we got Theory of Magic, number six. And this is from, of course, Rothic. This is the current issue. And then you guys saw on my previous um, video not too long ago, my comic video. Picked up some of the Southern Nightgown. Well, I had to go get number seven. And number eight, the E Bass cover. So I wanted to get that. And then that gets me all caught up. So I'm caught up on all the series once. Uh, once the other books come in from Rothic. <clears throat> and you guys remember I was talking about in my last video. I needed this last issue. So I picked up New Year's Evil Gog. This finishes up my Kingdom Come run. So now I have Kingdom Come. New Year's Evil Gog. I've got uh, the Kingdom. The whole series of the Kingdom. And then Thy Kingdom Come. And then all the Magog stuff to go with it. And so that is it. So Kingdom Come is done. I'm going to go read it because that was, I mean, when Alex Ross, sorry, hold on, when Alex Ross did that series, holy mother, that and Marvel, I mean, that was, that was a good time to be a, you know, a toy, a, not a comic reader because we had Marvels, we had Kingdom Come. He ended up doing out and going to Injustice. And then Night Kingdom Come came out. And, it, um, and that was in what happens if the Kingdom Come people came here. You know? So I was like, ooh, I like that. Look at this. And like I said, it's one of my favorite series to read from DC. Highly recommend it. And yes, I am sporting my new Coffin comic shirt. Yes, we had to wear it today. Even though we got nothing coming from Coffin, I wanted to wear it. All right, this is coming from Spain. This is a, man, this thing's been in the ether forever. And that's how it is sometimes. Hey, but at least it had a tracking number on this one. Man, oh man. Well, I will say, coming all the way from there, they done pretty good. I'm glad they actually, maybe they knew that it, since it was coming to the U.S., like, eh, we might want to put something extra on this one. Man, they weren't playing. Got this old OD green duct tape on it. And I'm glad they did though, because this is something very, very hard to find. I can get it out of here. There we go. Until Tales Ash Can. This, of course, is for the Untold series that was uh, Lady Death, Chastity, Evil Ernie, and Purgatory. So, like I said, I'm on Ash Cans now for Chaos. 
um, and scripts because I've got all the other books. Literally, I've got every I think every chaos thing they put out. Um, as far as like horror and stuff, now I'm not doing the insane clown posse and stuff like that. If I can find the old like Friday the 13th and Halloween, I'll pick those up. But those are super expensive now. And we got a box from Tarjay. So let's see, what did they send me? I hope everybody's having a great day. I know I am. Hmm. Oh my lord, they actually put bubble wrap. Oh, just on top. <laughs> and it is the Target exclusive White Knight red edition so you guys know i love curse of the white knight and i had to get them all gotta catch them all like in pokemon gotta catch them all okay and then last but not least oof from great britain let's see Okay, this is from Parcel to Go. So, Parcel to Go. All right, so in the U.S., um, we don't have HMV um, support. We have, like, Zobby U.S. and stuff like that. Um, but there's a lot of things that are, like, HMV exclusive that I can't, I can't get here. Um, so... What I end up having to do is import it in. Like if I can get in on the uh, Amazon UK orders, I will. But can't always do that because they sell out so fast. So, uh, so there's a little service called uh, TipTrans. TipTrans is a proxy service that helps get stuff over here. So. I ended up going through them, and then uh, since HMV doesn't do directly here to the US, they only go straight to them, to the UK, um, I said, hey, just um, have it go to my tip trans address, and then I'll have it shipped here, which is what I did, and we have two boxes. I've been waiting on this. Everybody else has been getting it. No, actually. Uh, let's do it that way. A lot easier. Because I've been waiting on these. Yes. Urban Legend. The trilogy. This has Urban Legend. Urban Legends Final Cut. Urban Legends Bloody Mary. So, definitely. Definitely. And I'm gonna open it up. That's what we do. We open things up on this channel. I like to show you guys. Um, I've been I've been wanting this set ever since I saw the pre-order. And then Amazon UK ended up you know not running out, so I couldn't get it that route. So figured it'd be good to try to go the other way. So we got the box, the side, and the back. There we go. Urban Legend, Urban Legends Final Cut, and Urban Legends Bloody Mary. And let's see, we got, okay, so we got the booklet from, in Bloody Mary's case. You always, you always gotta look. You never know what's going to be in these cases. Okay, and then in the final cut, we actually got a poster. I like posters. This is like a mini poster, though. This ain't a full size. But it's a mini poster of the original movie. And then, of course, they have the artwork version. Let's see what's in this one. 
Okay, we got some cards in this one. So, oh. And this is um, from 88 Films, too, by the way. So. Okay. That little sleeve's always hard to get on and off. We got Murder and Legend. Another one from Urban Legend. Urban Legends, the final cut. Another one from Final Cut. And then the Bloody Mary one. So that's cool. It's always cool to have like extra stuff. That's what I like about 88 films and Arrow and like. A lot of these boutique horror ones is they do this stuff you get all these extras and there's a lot of them that like like grindhouse um does some good ones too um because i always like picking up the grindhouse ones because it comes with the book um and arrow does the book too on the special editions but like even normal grindhouse editions you can get the books to read and, G and mike gingold usually does most of them um and it's always it's always good to read those. I always like those. These cards are always a pain in the butt to get back in this little thing, but I always I always like keeping them together. But yeah, that's the Urban Legend box set. And as you might saw, I have one more. And yes, that's why it took so long. Because like I said, I was waiting on things to get here to my uh to my tip 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 trans um address because i thought i missed out on this but i didn't i got lucky because of hmv i got one i think one of the last copies they had it's i know what you did last summer trilogy um and this is again from 88 films the limited this is the limited edition one they have another one out there that is the uh just standard release one like it's, it's like a single uh single blu-ray case with all the movies in it well who wants that <laughs> i want the limited one there's the artwork the side and there's the back. Oh my god. The original. I know what you did last summer. I still know what you did last summer. And then I'll always know what you did last summer. This is the weakest out of all three though. Always always has been in my book. It's not horrible, horrible, but it's it's pretty weak. Okay. And then in the first one, I still know she's from somewhere. It comes with the booklet. Definitely have to take a look at these later. And if you guys want me to do individual reviews on the on these box sets, let me know. Okay, we got a poster. And I still know what you did last summer. And I'm glad they do the original movie the poster. It'd be cool to like have all three, but as long as you get the original, then you got the box set artwork. And then cards. Like I said, that's why I, that's why I like about 88 films and these guys. Because they always do something cool. Alright, put these out. Okay. Looks like these are all from I Know What You. So we got the Hope Band. Okay. They don't have it on the back like the other ones did on the other box set. Um, these are from I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. And 
and I'll always know. So okay, that's not too shabby. Thank you, eighty thumbs. Thank you, HMB and Tip Trans. Because without them, I wouldn't have got these. Told you, these cards are a pain in the butt sometimes to get back in this little sleep thing. But it keeps them from, from floating around and everything, too. All right. And so, folks, that's pretty much going to be it for today. Now, I hope you guys had a good time. Like I said, we got some goodies this time. Um, and we got more stuff coming. So, keep tuned to that Nate's Toys and Collectibles channel. Because you never know what we're going to have. All right, you guys take it easy, have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, all right, all right.